Well, today, uh, July 15, marks the uh, birthday anniversary of Soshi Nagamine, the founder of Matsubashi Shoanru. Uh, many practitioners and Matsubashi dojos around the world are uh, celebrating and commemorating uh, Soshi Nagamine's uh, birthday uh, by performing his uh, kata, uh, Fukukata Ich. Uh, I thought I would do something a little different, um, that I would uh, show the kata uh, and then demonstrate three uh, application or bunkai uh, heavy bag drills based upon uh, possible applications for, from uh, his kata. Uh, so I'll start with uh, just performing the, the kata uh, and then explaining some applications, uh, three different uh, basic applications, and then uh, showing how you can practice them in solo training on the heavy bag. Of course, uh, uh, heavy bag training and individual solo training can never replace partner training. Uh, but in the spirit of kata, which is an individual solo form of practice, um, I think it would be uh, fitting to uh, demonstrate uh, how we can um, enhance and supplement the kata uh, solo training with uh, heavy bag training, uh, uh, incorporating some impact training into uh, studying and practicing application from the kata. If you got it. So the first application will be uh, for the uh, opening sequence, the uh, getting off to the side, low block step punch, 180 degree pivot, low block step punch. And here uh, we're just looking at that as uh, a pulling uh, the person's guard or lead arm down, stepping in, striking, uh, and then uh, hitting the back of their neck, grabbing their head and chin, using the following low block to pull them down, uh, and then strike, and then uh, get out. And we'll just use uh, the heavy bag to help supplement that solo practice. So we're getting off to the side, pulling that lead arm down, there's your low block. Step, punch. Kata does it once, but you can hit multiple times. If the enemy doesn't drop, you can then Use your wind up for the low block here. Just strike the back of the head. Grab the, uh, the side of the head or the chin. Use that low block motion to pull them down and then strike and out. So, again, on the heavy bag, you would just be pulling the arm down, strike, back of the head, pull down, strike, and away. basic uh, application drill uh, is after that opening sequence, so you've got that low block, step punch, low block, step punch, you have that uh, 90 degrees low blocks and then three punches going forward. Uh, well, for this one, I'm just thinking about uh, using that wind up as a parry against someone who's attempting to reach the lapel. Parry, grab that arm, elbow strike, that's the wind up for the low block. Then the low block would be after that elbow strike, you can either stretch their head out or after that strike, pull the hand over, grab your chin, pull them down. That's the uh, uh, low block. And then you've got a strike. If they don't go down, and in this case on the bag, I'm gonna practice as if they don't go down. After that elbow strike, I'm just gonna pull on that head to reposition their body. And then I'm gonna use those series of punches to just drive those punches into uh, the enemy. So on the bag, it would simply look like this. So you're imagining someone is reaching in to grab the lapel so they would hit you. So you're gonna parry that reach as it's coming in, grab, there's the wind up for the uh, uh, low block, and you can hit elbow multiple times, and then strike, grab, pull, three punches, 
to simulate those three punches going down that straight part of the cut. Here's a few more. And for the third and final uh, application drill on the heavy bag uh, will be the uh, after that high block you've got the reverse punch and there's that pivot off the 45 into that reverse punch. So here I'm thinking about uh, the, the previous one was uh, keeping someone from grabbing the lapel. This uh, application drill, we're imagining that the person successfully grabs the lapel and they're going to be uh, swinging and raining down punches uh, on your head because that's the reason why they've grabbed you by the lapel most likely is to reach in and start striking. So what we're going to do is work that angle uh, in relation to so the, the, the bag here is going to be our uh, opponent. So we're going to be thinking uh, about how they've grabbed and they're going to be swinging in those big right hands. And so as they've reached in and, and grabbed, you're going to seize their hand so you know where that uh, their uh, arm is and where the hand is and they can't use it. Cover real quick in case they start swinging and you're going to get away from that hand off the 45, hit the crook of their elbow and then use that high block to strike into their neck region and then you're going to use that reach into the crook of their elbow, wrench their arm across to twist their body up and then that'll open up their uh, uh, ribs or their kidneys. You can do a few strikes here, follow up with some strikes and out. Right? So on the bag, it was simply look like this. So they've successfully grabbed, you're going to cover Grab their hand off to the side, hit the crook of their elbow, a few high block strikes into their throat, pull the crook of their elbow across to twist their body up, and then hit into their uh, kidneys or floating ribs, finish up with some strikes, and out. Well, that's my contribution to the celebration of Soshi Nagamine and the formation of his uh, Fukukata Ich uh, Kata, uh, looking at three possible applications from the Kata, working them on a heavy bag. Again, um, there's no substitute for uh, partner training, but since Kata is a form of solo training, we can supplement that solo training with heavy bag training. So think about how you can uh, identify some key applications from your kata that you practice and think about ways of working them on the heavy bag.